What's up, vinyl community? It's Steve from Steve Spins Records, and today we're going to talk about a 2020 Tone Poet release, Jackie McLean's It's Time. So you may have noticed Jackie McLean's It's Time when you were browsing through the different Tone Poet releases of 2020. It has a very eye-catching cover designed by a guy named Reed Miles. Uh, there's an interesting story about Reed Miles. He was a Blue Note cover designer. He was paid about $50 per cover that he designed, and he's responsible for a lot of the iconic album covers of the 1960s that were coming out of Blue Note. And occasionally he would get too busy and not be able to you know, make an album cover that he needed to be made, and so he would subcontract it out to other people. One of the people he subcontracted was a guy named Andy Warhol, who did uh, three Kenny Burrell albums and then one Johnny Griffin album as well. So that's kind of an interesting side story about the guy who designed the cover. Again, it's time. It's got a bunch of exclamation points on it. The exclamation points and the uh, punctuation marks are kind of a, an interesting thing that was going on with Jackie McLean at the time because his previous album was called Destination dot 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 out exclamation point. So this again continues with that motif using punctuation marks uh, and kind of has an, a neat thematic uh, element to it. So let's take a look at what's in the package. So I've already pulled the disc itself, put it into a MoFi sleeve. Again, here's the cover that you can see there. There's the back. It's a very well done cardboard cover, uh, gate fold. So we'll open that up. There you go. You can see the band on the inside. There they are again. And I think Blue Note does a really good job uh, in Tone Poet, especially with, with these reissues, of making you feel like you were in the studio with the guys. There you see, you know, young Herbie Hancock. There's Roy Haynes on drums, Cecil McBee on bass, and then Jackie McLean and Charles Tolliver. Uh, on the alto sax and trumpet, and there's uh, again McLean and Tolliver as well. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the that's the crew that was on it. Tolliver on trumpet, Jackie McLean on alto sax, Herbie Hancock on piano, Cecil McBee on bass, and then Roy Haynes on drums. Uh, it's interesting that three of the six tracks were uh, written by Jackie McLean, and three were written by Charles Charles Tolliver. So looking at looking at the track listing on here, you've got track one is can on side one. You have cancellation, uh, das dat. It's Time. Cancellation was written by Charles Tolliver, who was making his debut for Blue Note at the time on this record. Uh, das Dat was written by Jackie McLean, and It's Time was also written by Jackie McLean. And then on side B, you've got Revelot, or Tolliver backwards, uh, it's written by Charles Tolliver. Snuff by Jackie McLean, and then Truth by Charles Tolliver. And Truth is the only real ballad on here. Um, when you think about the pace of this record, it's very energetic, very high tempo, very... Um, you know, interesting to have on his background music. It's it's not quite frenetic, but it's it's definitely got some liveliness to it, and it's got some energy as you're as you're li listening through it. Something I noticed about it, uh, if you like jazz, this is going to be something that that you want to check out. It didn't really get that great of critical reviews either when it came out, but um, when you listen to this record, it's just it's fantastic. So there's the, the label that you see there. Again, on a nice 180 gram audiophile pressing, um, and yeah, the the for whatever reason it you know it doesn't get a lot of publicity, but the the album itself is great, and it's a really nice listen. Uh, it's a really cool cool album to to put on and listen to, put on in the background. Um, it's an album that I find myself just. You know, I'll play side one, and then I'll play side two, and then I'll play side one again, then I'll play side two again, then I'll play side one again, then I'll play side two again. So it's it's definitely one of those albums that you can just keep flipping and putting on and on and on and on. It's, um, you know, it, again, it was released in 1965, it was recorded in 1964, in August of, of 64 it was recorded, and it's 42 minutes and 54 seconds long, of course. Um, and again, another, you know, the side note about the, the history of this album is that Jackie... Jackie McLean at the time had gone with his previous album, 1964's Destination dot 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 out exclamation point. Uh, he went with Destination out and he went into a very experimental place. He was on the forefront of jazz at the time. He was experimenting. He was trying new things. It sounded different. It was it was new. It was fresh. And then in 65, you know, he doesn't take a step back, but he comes into more of a safe space. And that's that's the idea that he was doing was he was experimenting and then coming back to the to the roots and then experimenting, come back to the roots. So you hear a lot of that on this album. It's a great um, hard bop album uh, if you're into hard bop jazz. So that's like the, you know, 60s uh, Coltrane and 60s Miles Davis, stuff like that. And 
uh, yeah, it's just, it's a really, really nice record to put on. It sounds amazing. The Tone Poet uh, series did a great job again. It's uh, something that I'm finding is you really can't go wrong with a, with a Tone Poet pressing. So if you see something that's got a Tone Poet label on it, if you see something that, that they're behind or producing, it's, you know, it's going to be worth picking up, especially if you like the artist or if, you know, I, I found myself taking flyers on some of these Blue Note things, uh, some of the, the Tone Poet stuff and just being floored when I get the record and listen to it and actually see the, the packaging and the, the effort that went into it. So great job, Blue Note. Great job, Tone Poet. Um, Jackie McLean, it's time. Who I would recommend this album for? I would recommend it for anyone who's into jazz, but maybe, you know, just getting started out listening. If they like Miles Davis, if they like John Coltrane, stuff like that, uh, show them this, let them listen to this. It's, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be right up their alley with, with what they're doing. Uh, and again, it's, it's, you know, it's got a great lineup of, you know, future jazz musicians as they were sort of early on in their career. So Herbie Hancock was young on this, Charles, Charles Tolliver was making his debut on this, so he was young, and then eventually went on to write more and more music uh, for the Blue Note label, and just to, you know, get the, get their careers started. So it was a great uh, lineup, and it's it's interesting when you think about the, the name on it. Yes, technically Jackie McLean, but I feel like all of these guys really did a good job on the album, and it was very much a collaboration and collaborative effort to get the music where it needed to be. And it's, you know, you hear a lot of Herbie Hancock doing that with, with his piano playing, kind of pushing the other guys, pushing Tolliver, pushing Jackie McLean with what he's doing. So it's really interesting if you listen for that uh, to see how the piano and the alto sax and the trumpet play together. So if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Give us a like for Jackie McLean. Give us a like for Charles Tolliver, give us a like for Herbie Hancock, give us a like for this vintage Chicago Bulls sweatshirt, give us a like for this Aaron Draplin hat, anything that you want to give us a like for, we'll, we'll happily take it. Uh, and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well so that you never miss a video from what we're doing here. So again, that's Jackie McLean's It's Time from the Tone Poet Series in 2020. And this is Steve from Steve Spins Records, signing off.